In a previous video, I explained why two aligned polarising filters, one placed in front of the other, will allow light through, whereas two polarising filters at 90 degrees to each other will allow no light through. In this video, I'm going to explain Marlis's law, which allows us to calculate how much light will be allowed through if we turn the filter to some angle other than 90 degrees or 0 degrees. Here we have a light source, which is giving out unpolarised light, that is light that is uh, oscillating in any direction and it passes through a polarising filter and becomes polarised light which is only oscillating in this particular direction. It then hits another sheet of polarising filter which is turned through some angle theta degrees here. We know that if the two sheets of polaroid are aligned, that is if theta is zero, this arrow will be here, that's all the light would pass through. We also know that if the analyzer, the second polaroid, is turned through 90 degrees, so theta is 90 degrees, that no light will get through. Therefore, we can say that the amplitude of the radiation passing through the second Polaroid filter is equal to the initial amplitude, that is the amplitude of the polarized light here, multiplied by the cosine of theta. So when theta is zero, the amplitude passing through is equal to the initial amplitude, all of the light passes through. When theta is 90, none of the light passes through, the amplitude is equal to zero, and for everything in between, we can calculate it by finding this component. The amplitude isn't as useful to us, however, as the intensity, but you'll remember from a previous video that intensity is proportional to the square of the amplitude. So if we square both sides of our equation here, we'll get a squared equals a naught squared, cos squared theta, and we can replace our a squared with i, and our a naught squared with i zero, which will represent the initial intensity of the light, and we need to keep cos squared theta here. So this is Marlis's law. It allows us to work out the intensity of light that has passed through a Polaroid filter by knowing the initial intensity and the angle between that filter and the polarized light. For example, if we have an initial light intensity of 300 watts per square meter, that is the light source here and indeed here is at 300 watts per square meter, and we have an angle here of 30 degrees between the alignment of the second polarizing sheet and the first polarizer, then we can use the equation I equals 300 cos squared 30 degrees. So I equals 300 times, or cos of 30 is root three over two. And we need to square that, which will give us 300 times 3 quarters, which gives us a final answer of 225 watts per square metre. So the intensity of the light passing through this particular filter when it's at 30 degrees is 225 watts per square metre if the original light was 300 watts per square metre. That is Marlis's law.